In the previous tutorial, we looked at how to configure permissions and skills based via security groups. In this tutorial, we'll look at how you can use the delegates feature to dynamically assign privileges based on a person's assigned team. Although configuring permissions on a system-wide level is useful, sometimes it's necessary or desirable to grant people different permissions for different sections of the organisation. In this example, we'll look at how the system is configured out of the box so that the supervisor security group is granted the ability to assess only members of their own team. By editing the supervisor security group, I can see that the people assess privilege is granted with delegated scope. This means that permission will only apply to teams that the person is delegated to. By default, a person is delegated to a team simply by making them a member of the team. There are other options that are configurable via the team's configuration page, however we'll be using this default setting for this tutorial. With the mechanisms of security groups and delegates in place, we can simply move people from team to team and any privileges granted with delegated scope will only apply to the team that they're currently in. So a supervisor in the accounting team will always only be able to conduct assessments of people in the accounting team unless we move them to a different team. It's important to note that permissions apply downstream through a team's hierarchy. So if a person has certain permissions granted for a parent team, they'll automatically apply to all sub-teams as well. Using the permissions audit report, I can see that the supervisor has been granted the necessary privileges only for their team and not the others. For more information on any skills-based topic, head to our support centre at support.skills-base.com.